Hi everyone. We're going to find the lean of the leaning tower of Pisa. Um it was 100 um 145 140 I mean sorry. 184.5 feet high. Um at a distance of 123 feet from the base of the tower, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower so that means you're looking up. So looking up to see your angle elevation is always down here, 60 degrees. We have to find this angle and also the, the distance between A and AB. So we have to find this height here, basically. All right, so what I did, because it's kind of it's hard to see, I went ahead and redrew it just with the triangle. So this is what we have. Um, and we're going to use the law of sines. So this is our gamma, and we're going to find gamma first. So we have sine of gamma over your C. This is your little C. It's little A. This is little B. All right, so sine of gamma over 123 feet equals sine of 60 degrees over... 184.5 feet. And you're going to cross up here, put him up there. So you get sine of gamma equals 123 sine of 60 degrees over 184.5 feet. All right. And that this part here equals approximately. 0 0.5774. Now, so gamma is going to equal inverse sine of that. 0 0.5774. So gamma equals 35, approximately 35.3 degrees. So this is 35.3 degrees. And to get your alpha, Alpha, or the angle, let's just do it this way, angle of CAB, which is what they want. You're just going to take 180 degrees minus your 60 minus your 35.3 degrees. And that gives you 84.7 degrees. So basically this is 84.7 degrees. Now to find the height, we're going to use uh, Sokotoan, namely the SO sine, because we want the height here. So sine of 84.7 degrees equals opposite, which is the height over hi our hypotenuse, which is 184.5 feet. And you cross multiply. equals your height, and when you multiply this out, you get um, your height is 183.71 feet. And that's all. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.